So here's a system of equations review. So a pizza shop sells pizzas that are 10 inches in diameter or larger. A 10 inch cheese pizza costs $10. Each additional topping costs, meat topping costs $1.50 and a vegetable topping costs 75 cents. So write an equation to represent the cost of the pizza. So for cost of the pizza, I'm gonna put C. So the cost of the pizza is $10 to just start uh, with cheese. And then $1.50 per meat topping. So I'm going to call meat toppings M. And over here, I'm going to put C is cost. M is meat toppings. And then lastly, a veggie topping, I'm going to call V. So our equation would be C is 10, the cost is $10, plus $1.50 per meat topping, so 150 M, plus 75 cents times V. So now what we're going to do is look at solving this uh, system of equations by graphing. So if we have the equation Y, um, over here, negative 5x plus y equals negative 2. What I'm going to do is solve for y and put it in slope-intercept form. So to do that, I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So my equation would be y equals 5x minus 2. So my slope is the 5, which means I go up 5 over 1, and my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. So I go to 0 on the x-axis, down to negative 2, there's my y-intercept. And then my slope, I go up 5, so from here I just count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then over 1. And then you can just keep going if you would like to. So this line here. Would look like that. So our other equation. Is negative 3x plus 6y equals negative 12. And we, again, are going to solve that for y. So we're going to add 3x. So you have 6y equals 3x minus 12. And then divide every number by 6. So you get y equals 3, 6 reduces to 1 half. x, 12 over 6 would be minus 2. So again, the y-intercept is... 0, negative 2. And my slope is 1 half. So I start at 0, negative 2. Then I go up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. I can keep doing that and go backwards. But if you notice, my y-intercept is my solution. So my two graphs cross at the point 0, negative 2. So there's my solution, and I labeled it. So now we have a system of equations that we need to solve without graphing. Now, as I look at these equations, I notice I have negative 2y and negative 2y. So I could make these opposites and use elimination to solve. So what you can do is multiply every one of these by negative 1. All that does is switch the sign. So negative x plus 2y equals negative 11. So what I'm going to do is write that system underneath here. So negative x plus 2y equals negative 11. Then combine those. 
So negative 7x minus x would be negative 8x equals negative 13 minus 11 is negative 24. Divide all sides by negative 8, and you would get x equals 3. So now to find what y is, you can plug that into either equation. I'm going to use this equation right here. So I would have instead of x, I have 3. And then really that's minus. So minus 2y equals 11. So now I'm going to subtract 3 to make that 0 on both sides. So we have negative 2y equals 11 minus 3 is 8. Divide both sides by negative 2 and you get y equals negative 4. So my answer here is 3 for x and negative 4 for y. So next, um, we have to solve this system. Now, I notice that this system is solved for y. So I'm going to take this expression, x minus 1, and use substitution to put it in there to make this two-variable equation a one-variable equation. So to do that, I have 2x minus 3, and then times x minus 1, and then that equals negative 1. Now here I need to distribute uh, through the parentheses, so the 2x still comes down. Negative 3 times x makes negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 1 makes positive 3. And then that still equals negative 1. 2x minus 3x. So since two variables are on the same side, I simplify. So 2x minus 3x makes negative x plus 3 equals negative 1. Then here I subtract 3 from both sides. And you would have negative x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 1, and here we would have x equals 4. Now I'm going to use this equation up here where it says y equals x minus 1. So y equals 4 minus 1, which is 3. So we have x, we have y, and then to write our answer as an ordered pair, you'd put 4 for x and 3 for y. So on here, we have to select all the equations that could result from adding or subtracting these equations from each other. So what I'm going to do is just take the equations. We have 4x plus y equals 6, and I have negative 5x minus y equals 21. So I'm going to add these. So negative 4x minus 5x is negative 9x. That makes 0, and then this would equal 27. So this equation A is true. So that method eliminates Y. So what I'm going to do now is if I had the two equations, negative 4X plus Y equals 6, and negative 5X minus Y equals 21, what I'm going to do is see what happens if I subtract them. So if I subtract them, that changes all these signs. So really, instead of subtracting, I'm going to just change all the signs. So plus, plus, minus. And then changes to addition. So 4x plus 5x makes x. y plus y makes plus 2y. And 6 minus 21 becomes negative 15. So we have x plus 2y is negative 15. And those are two possibilities. We added and we subtracted. So now we have to solve a few more systems. I notice this system right here is set up good for elimination. So we have 3x, and if I just added them, that's negative 3x. They, it would make 0, so you could eliminate x. 
So how you do that, you write the system underneath it, 3x plus 3y equals negative 3. So add them. Negative 3x plus 3x makes 0. So negative 4y plus 3y is negative y. And then you have 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Divide everything by negative 1, and you get y equals 1. So now you just need to solve for x. So you have 3x plus 3, and then instead of y, I put times 1 equals negative 3. So 3x plus 3 equals negative 3. Subtract 3 from both sides, and you have 3x equals negative 6. Divide by 3, and you would get x equals negative 2. So if I write that as an ordered pair, my solution would be 2 for x and 1 for y, or negative 2 for x, 1 for y. And I'm going to box that in so it stands out. Now, as I look at this equation, there's a few things I could do. You could solve for y and use substitution, or I have negative 2y. If I made this positive 2y, the variables would eliminate. So what I'm going to do is multiply this um, equation here by negative 2 because negative 2 times the negative 1 would make positive 2, and here we would have opposites. So negative 2 times negative 2x is 4x. Negative 2 times a negative 1y makes plus 2y. Negative 2 times a negative 9 makes 18. So now I'm going to take this equation and put it underneath it. So we have 5x minus 2y equals 18. So now I'm going to add them. The y's eliminate and make 0. So 4x plus 5x is 9x. 18 plus 18 is 36. Divide by 9, and you would have x equals 4. So then what you do is plug in 4 there. So 5 times 4 minus 2y equals 18. So that makes 20 minus 2y equals 18. Subtract 20, and you would have negative 2y equals negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 2 and you have y equals positive 1. So we have x, we have y. To write it as an ordered pair here, we would have 4 for x and 1 for y. Now, this one, would you rather use substitution or elimination to solve this system? I notice that this system is really set up well for substitution because you can substitute this in for y and solve. However, you might like elimination, and you would have to do a lot of manipulation. You'd have to move x to this side and then multiply, say, x by negative 2, but you could do it. It would just be more algebra work. So I would use substitution. The system is set up for it. So I would use substitution. One equation is solve for y, so that makes it easier. So I'm going to put because one equation is solve for y. 